Hello everyone, this is Hatting Tian. Let's see 4.4 properties of functions. Uh, we learned uh, properties of functions in college algebra. Let's review it. Uh, first, let's see the increasing and decreasing interval. The part of the domain where y values are increasing or decreasing. So for the increasing and decreasing interval, we're going to have my graph. Uh, of the function from the left to right is going up. So if I have the function is from left to right is going up, so we say this is an increasing function. If from left to right I'm having going down trend, so we say is decreasing. And the increasing or decreasing is all talking about the x value from here to here, or we say the increasing part. So for example, from the graph, uh, we can use the red color to highlight the increasing in increasing function part. So from the point here, all the way here, so it's from left from my left to right is going up. So the increasing interval, we're talking about about the x value of this part is from negative 1 to 2. And for increasing and decreasing function, we are always using the parentheses, do not use brackets. And for the decreasing, let's use different color. It's going down from left to right. So you see I highlight the left to right going down, left to right is going down function. Okay, so how to describe the decreasing uh, interval of the function? Interval is talking about the x value. So the x value of this point is negative 5. So negative 5 to the point here, uh, comma, negative 1. Uh, we are using parentheses. And also we have another part, another curve. From here to here is with a union 2 to infinity because the x value here is approaching infinity. Okay, let's clear this. And how about the domain of the function? Domain fun of the function means all the x value. And let's write domain. And from the graph, I can tell the domain of the function. This point has the smallest x value, which is negative 5. And that point is solid point. It's included on my domain. So it's from negative 5 to the greatest uh, uh, x value. You see here, uh, look at the, uh, the curve here. It's all the way pointing down. Also, it's pointing to the positive uh, x axis. So we say positive infinity, or we just say infinity. How about the range of the function? So range means all the y's value. So y's value from this graph, I will look at the lowest point. So here is point to the floor is approaches negative infinity. Smallest y's value is negative infinity. The greatest y's value is 5. And the 5 is included uh, because this point, y's value 5 is included. All right, let's see more information. It's about the local maxima. The definition of local maxima is a point where a function changes from increasing to decreasing. It's local maxima. Maximum. Uh, local maxima. Oh, sorry. A local minima, second one. Local minima, a point where a function changes from decreasing to increasing is called the local minimum. So if I can find my dip, the dip and the bump, so the dip uh, will have the changing from, so you see from here to here is decreasing and then uh, pass through this point, I'm having the increasing function. So this dip, is a local minimum or lo local minima. And the bump, 
So the bump here is the local maxima, uh, and also it connects the two trend, which is increasing and decreasing. Okay, we can write down the local minimum or we uh local maximum or local maxima is the a point of the bump. The bump is two comma negative one. This is the point form. And the maximum value is negative one or local maximum is y is equal to negative one. And how about the local minima? Is the dip here? The dip is negative one comma negative two. Okay, let's see next example. So this is a, a combination of questions. So we have a lot to review. So if I give you the image of the function, let's find the domain of the function. Domain means all the x value. I need to find the smallest x value. You see the graph is has a uh, has the arrow is pointing to the most left. The x value is approaches negative infinity. So domain is from the smallest x value negative infinity to the greatest x value. This point has the greatest x value three. So to three bracket. And uh, the range means all the y's value. Y's value I'm I'm looking for the smallest uh, uh, y's value to the greatest y's value. So here is pointing to the floor. The smallest y's value is from negative infinity. And the greatest y's value is 4. 4 is included. Uh, and uh, we use the brackets. And uh, the zeros of the function. Zeros of the function uh, means function is equal to 0. This means what value... What is my x value will make my function equal to zero. So let's see what is that question mark. What is the x value? So making my function is equal to zero is these two points. These two points, y's value is equal to zero. And the x is equal to negative three. And the x is equal to positive three. We have two x value will make my function equal zero. How about f of 0? So the input x is equal to 0 is the point here. This point x is equal to 0, y is equal to 3. Okay, let's see next question. Interval on which f is increasing. So let's see where is the increasing interval. My graph from left to right going up. So here is increasing and describing the inter increasing interval is the x value of this curve is from negative infinity to one. Do not have the brackets where using the parentheses uh, describing the increasing or decreasing interval because this point the x value is one and the decreasing interval uh, let's use different color. So from here to here is decreasing. Describing the decreasing interval, the x value is from 1 to 3. Okay, next question, number G. The value of x, which make my function is less than or equal to 0. That means my y's value is less than or equal to 0. Uh, so my curve here, they all have the y's value less than or equal to zero, including the point here. And also, this point has the y's value is equal to zero. So let's find the x value uh, that I highlighted. So it's from negative infinity to negative three bracket. Union uh, x value here is three. So we use a, a set notation because this point, the x value is 3, just one element. I cannot use interval notation from where to where. Next example, next question, any relative maxima and the numbers that which they occur. 
Yes, maxima I see there is a bump. So this bump is my maxima. So the bump is point one comma four, and the maxima means the y's value, uh, is equal to four. And uh, at this point, uh, x is equal to one. Okay, number i, the value of x, which f of x is equal to four. So y is equal to four. The function is equal to four. So where is the point? Make my function equals four. So here, y's value is equal to four, and the x value is one. So x is equal to one. Uh, for the function is equal to four. Next example: If f of, oh sorry, is f of x, f of negative one positive or negative? So let's find where is the f of negative one. The x value is negative one, and the y value is here is two. You see, we can highlight the point here. Uh, the y value is two is positive, so we can circle positive sign. Okay, let's see next example. So if I give you a curve, let's find the domain range, and the interval for the increasing and decreasing. Find the maxima and minima, local maxima and minima. Okay, let's see the domain. We don't have too much space here, so let's write the. First question here. Let's find the domain. Domain means all the x value. Uh, I need to find the smallest x value this point and the greatest x value here. So it's from negative eleven to positive nine. They are all included on my graph. They are all solid line. We're using brackets. Second, let's see the range. So the range means all the y's value. I'm looking for the smallest y and the greatest y. This point has the smallest y's value, and this point has the greatest y's value. And also, you see my graph is continuous, so I can have any y's value between the highest point and the lowest point. So let's see, the y's value or the range is from lowest point y's value is. Negative one, two, three, four. So negative four. So it's from negative four to the greatest value. This point is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. So negative four to positive ten. And the next question is find the interval which is increasing or decreasing. Number three is increasing. For the increasing interval, we can use color. To highlight the increasing interval from left to right is going up, is going up, and also here is going up, and also here is going up. Let's describe the x value of these three curves. So, the first uh, uh, curve interval, the x value is from negative eight to negative two. And second, the red highlighted area is highlighted curve is, uh, from zero to two. Combine them with a union symbol, and then union from five to six. And uh, where is my mistake? No mistake because I didn't use the brackets. They are all the uh pr uh. Um, let's see. Where is my mistake? So the last interval is from five to here is nine. It's not six. So let's correct it. Okay. Let's see. What is the decreasing interval? We can erase the increasing, and use different color to highlight the. Decreasing. So the decreasing. Let's use blue. So from left to right going down. From left to right going down. From left to right is going down. We have three parts. 
So describing the x value of these three parts. We must use parentheses. The x value is from negative 11, comma, negative 8, parentheses, union, negative 2 to 0, and the union, uh, positive 2 to positive 5. So we found our, uh, we found our increasing and decreasing interval. Okay, let's see what is the number four. Oh, number three has two questions. So these are number three. Number four, find the local minima and the local maxima. We can erase this. We say local maxima are the bumps. We have two bumps. Do not uh, circle this one. This is not the bumps. So uh, we say number four, question four, the local maxima maximum is point negative two comma one two three four five six and local another local maxima is the point two comma ten and the local minima is the dips so we can highlight the dips so these three points, they are the local uh, minimum. So they are negative 8, comma, 1, 2, 3, 4, comma, negative 4. And uh, then 0, comma, 0. And the last point is 5, comma, 0. So we found the three local minimum. Okay, let's see. Next question is five. Find all intercepts. So the intercepts including x-intercepts and the y-intercepts. So let's find what is the x-intercepts. X-intercepts is the points, intercepts between a graph and x-axis. So we can use red color to highlight the x-intercepts. One, two, three, four. We have... Uh, four x-intercepts. They are negative 10, comma, 0. Y must be 0. And uh, negative 5, comma, 0. And uh, 0, comma, 0. 5, comma, 0. And how about y-intercept? So y-intercept is the intercept with the y-axis. So this point is y-intercept. We only have one y-intercept, which is 0, comma 0. And next question is determine f of negative 8. So x value is, uh, x value is negative 8. Let's erase this. So let's highlight the point which has the x value negative 8. What is the y's value? Uh, four negative four so f of negative eight is negative four so solve for the x if the f of x is equal to 10 let's find a point with the y's value is 10 so this point for example this point has the x y's value 10 and the x is 2 so x is equal to 2 for the f of x is equal to 10 and next one, how many solutions are there to the f of x is equal to 6? f of x means y's value equal to 6. On the y-axis, let's find 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This point is 6. And for this point, I can draw a horizontal line. We're having one, two, three, four intercepts. So these four points, they all have the y's value or the function value equals six, and they have different x value. So here, how many solutions? It's not asking about specific points. We can say four points. Okay, we solved this example. We can move on to find uh, to see next part. Uh, even function. 
the even function is symmetric about the y-axis. Uh, and the odd function is the function symmetric about the origin. So if I have a function, it's symmetric about the y-axis. For example, this image, you can see the left side and the right side, they are symmetric along the y-axis. So this one is the even function. And if my graph is symmetric along the origin, so we can rotate my graph 180 degree, and uh, I have the overlapped function graph. That means this is the odd function, which is symmetric along the origin. And we can we say this is odd function. We can also use <coughs> uh, f of negative x is equal to negative f of x to prove the function is odd. So if I input a negative x, for example, I say I pick an x here, then the negative x is 1, 2, 3, 4, is here, negative x. So x is equal to, uh, x value is, y's value is here, for example, is positive 3, and uh, negative x, the y's value is negative 3 here. Oh, I see that. When I input negative x, so the negative x, the y's value is equal to negative 3, which is the y's value of this point. And it's equal to negative, so bring this negative sign down, negative f of x, f of x, uh, y's value is 3, yes, negative 3 is equal to negative 3. So I can prove this is an odd function. So I suggest you to memorize the formula. And for the even function, if I input negative x in the function is equal to f of x, then I say this is even function. Okay, let's see. We have the following two examples. Find the intercepts, x, y intercepts. Find the domain and the range. Number C, interval of increasing, decreasing, and constant. Oh, the constant interval means a horizontal line. It's a horizontal line. And number D, state whether the function is even or odd. So I want to see if it's symmetric along the origin or the y-axis or neither is not symmetric. So the first one, let's find the intercepts. The A, uh, the x-intercepts, so we have two points. So you have this. these two points, they are x-intercepts. So they are point negative 1, comma, 0, and 1, comma, 0. Number B, oh, I didn't finish the y-intercepts. We have one y-intercept, which is 0, comma, 2, and number B, find the domain and the range. Domain is all the x value. So the smallest x value is negative 3. So the domain is from negative 3 to positive 3. So this point x value is positive 3. Domain is from uh, negative 3 to positive 3. And how about the range of the function? all the y's value. So I'm looking for the lowest points, smallest y's value, and the highest points, the greatest y's value. Because this is a continuous function, I can say the highest point and lowest point can decide my range. From the smallest value, which is 0, y is equal to 0, to the highest point, y's value is 3. So the range is from 0 to 3. And all of them have the brackets because the solid dots. And number C, increasing and decreasing interval. So number C, for the increasing, decreasing, I can highlight with different color. So increasing, increasing, and then decreasing, decreasing. So let's describe the increasing interval is from negative 1 to 0, all about the x value, union, 
one to infinity, one to not infinity. The x value of the point here is three. So from negative one to zero, union one to three, they all have the parentheses. And how about decreasing? Decreasing is the blue, uh, segment. So is from negative three, negative three to negative one. All the x value, union, um, uh, so union zero to one. The x value of the second uh, segment segment, and how about the even or odd of the function? Let's put the d here. So this graph immediately I can decide is even because it's symmetrical along the y axis. So number d I will say is even because it's symmetrical along the y axis. So let's see the next example. Let's find the x, y intercepts. So for the x intercepts are the two points here. So the two points, they are negative pi over 2 and the positive pi over 2. So is negative pi over 2 comma 0 and the pi over 2 comma 0. And the y-intercept, we have only one y-intercept, which is a point 0, 1. It's very similar like the co cosine function. Uh, OK, so next question is finding the domain. So b is finding the domain. Domain means all the x value. So it's starting from the smallest x value to the greatest x value. So these two points has the greatest uh, um, uh, and the, so smallest and the greatest x value. Okay, for the domain is from negative pi to positive pi brackets. And how about range? Range means all the y's value. So highest point y's value, lowest point y's value. This point and this point, the, the range is starting from negative 1 to 1 brackets. And how about the increasing decreasing interval? So we can use different color to highlight the increasing and the decreasing interval. Okay, for the increasing, we are starting from the x value negative pi to 0. Make sure you have parentheses. And the decreasing is starting from 0 to pi. How about the even or odd? So number D. So this is even because it's symmetric along the uh, y-axis. Also, you can tell this is a part of the cosine function. Cosine is an even function. OK, let's see next graph. So this graph, it doesn't seem like it's symmetric along the origin or along the y, but we can test. So first, let's find the domain of the function. Yes, but uh, no domain is x, y intercepts. So first one, we are looking for the x intercepts. So they are points here, points here is negative 2.3 comma 0 and the point 3 comma 0 and the y-intercept we have 1 which is 0 comma 1 number b we are looking for i think is um, domain and the range for the domain all the x value so this is a continuous function uh, so the domain is from the smallest x value. This point has the smallest x value to the greatest x value. Uh, so it's from negative 3 to positive 3 brackets. And uh, the range is the y's value. So smallest y's value or lowest point to the highest point. So these two points, they have the greatest and uh, least y's value. Y is starting from negative 2 
to positive two. Brackets, and number C is looking for the increasing or decreasing. So let's highlight the increasing, decreasing with different color. Increasing, increasing, and decreasing here. And also we have the constant area, which is a horizontal line. We can also describe the constant interval. So let's say. The increasing interval is starting from the x value negative three to um, I think that point is negative two. Parentheses union the x value is equal to zero to the x value two, and the decreasing is from this point x is equal to two, and then to three. How about the constant interval? Constant interval is the horizontal segment. Is a red highlighted area. Uh, is from negative two to zero. The x value is negative two. X is equal to zero. Okay, so this one I want to decide if is even or odd. If it is so obviously it's not an even function because it's not symmetrical along the y. I want to evaluate if the, uh want to see if it's an odd function. If it is an odd, I can rotate it uh, one hundred eighty degree. If they are overlapped, is the odd function. But I don't have a tool to help me to rotate my graph, so I can use the formula. If I can evaluate f of negative x is equal to negative f of x, so this is an odd function. So x could be any number. Uh, I want to see if I can find some easy numbers. For example, I pick a negative two. If I can verify is equal to negative f of positive two, this is an odd function. What is f of negative two? The point here, the y's value is one, and what is so bring the negative sign down. What is f of two? F of two is two, so one is not equal to negative two. So this is not an odd function. That means this one is neither neither odd or even. So neither. Okay, I have some. More examples for you,、uh, so you are going to try these three examples.、Uh, I'm not showing you how to do it, so you can keep practicing. If you have any question, you can ask me from email. Have a good one.